guess who's back? You guys, I'm making my own Worcestershire sauce today so that I could make this uh, recipe for tomorrow for my meeting and I thought I would kind of talk about what I'm cooking again. I'll post a recipe this time. I'm learning as I go along. Um, thanks for coming back. Thanks for watching my videos. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Oh my goodness. And everybody leaving me comments and all that everything I'm so excited so I've got um, some simple ingredients here just some pepper cinnamon onion mustard ground ginger apple cider vinegar and tamari and I'm gonna start this cooking process and I want to take you guys with me yes it's snowing outside so much so I'm gonna be making a recipe from the minimalist baker Lentil, vegan lentil sloppy joes. We've made this before, we love it, and I'm pretty much gonna get ready and just start getting my ingredients out real quick. So, some onions, some garlic, a green pepper. I'm gonna be doubling the recipe. Um, I'm gonna need some tomato sauce over here. I'm gonna get this. Two cans of tomato sauce, some coconut sugar. And I am making some vegan Worcestershire sauce. I can't say that word, so I'll just be honest with you right now. Some chili powder, cumin. Dang it. Dang it. Why are you doing that? Here is the ingredients I needed. So while I'm getting all those out, I just remembered I need to cook some lentils. Sloppy Joe recipe is calling for lentils. I have two cooks, two cooks, two cups, two cups of lentils. Super easy to make. I'm gonna use two cups of water and two cups of vegetable broth. And get those cooking while I start working on the ingredients for the, for the recipe. We've got that going on, we've got that going on. I'm super excited. The reason why I'm making this is because I'm having that plant inspiration meeting tomorrow. I started a nonprofit. I wanted to get more and more people feeling better, educating them on um, plant-based nutrition. And this is, this is this big thing that I wanted to do and get people over here every Saturday and encourage them and inspire them to eat plants so that they can feel better. I just felt like I couldn't keep this a secret, you know what I mean? I had to tell people. I, I want to show people how they too can do what I did and what I did for my family. You know, once you get here, you know, you, you've made, you made your mind up that you're interested in it. Now I want to get you going and keep you here. Show you how I do these amazing recipes. So tomorrow I decided to Serve lentils, it's winter time. Uh, lentil Sloppy Joe, show everybody one of the easiest recipes. Um, you can even use manwich, but I don't like to really mention it because it's not, you know. Manwich is a great thing to, to try for a first time, you know, to, to do a transition. You can use manwich in place of meat for Sloppy Joes. Or you can make this really quick recipe, which I'm working on right now. Let me get everything ready and I'll be back. That sauce is almost done. I am a hot mess. Um, I thought I would bring it over here and talk about what I'm doing. Hold on, let me get this right. Sorry, I hate this lighting. Running all over trying to fix this. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for Pete's sake. Here I am, sauteing up some of these green peppers, garlic and onion. I just used vegetable broth, no oil. So we're gonna simmer these up, let them sit, I'll be back. Happy Saturday, it's me, I'm Stephanie, and I'm back. I know I was working on those lentil sloppy joes yesterday but I got a little overwhelmed I finally made a bunch of them for my meeting today in case I haven't talked about it before I started this nonprofit so that I could get people together and teach them about plants and going plant-based and veganism and 
I kind of have a little setup here talking about the most wonderful whole foods that you can eat and um, I just started I decided to start inviting people into my home and show them how they too can go plant-based. John, I'm following you around. How are you doing? He's shoveling the driveway. It's like 10 below outside. Yeah, it's, too cold. it's plant time. <laughs> it's plant spiration time. Woo. So I wish you could be here for this. I talk a little bit about my story. I educate people a little bit on the correlation of food and disease and how you can use plants to turn them into your favorite foods, your favorite flavors, all while preventing and reversing disease and losing weight and feeling great and getting energy. So right now, I'm gonna get ready for everybody to be here and I just wanna let you know, thanks for coming back, thanks for checking me out, thanks for all the new subscribers. Um, check out my Instagram page, I usually post a lot on there and I'll be back. Swears, I'm trying to record. So, my meeting, my get together. How did it go, you guys? It went good. It went pretty good. You never know who's gonna pop up at your door. I don't swear. You never know who's gonna pop up. So, what do I do? What did I do? We had good fun. I talked about the correlation of food and disease, how meat, dairy, animal, fish, any animal proteins promote disease, they promote cancer, they cause angiogenesis to occur. So much, there's just so much, I can't even put it into like one little video, or one moment, but basically what I do is I educate people. Um, I'm educated in plant-based nutrition and T. Colin Campbell Center for Nutrition. I took my courses through that and I learned so much stuff. And what my intentions are, are just to continue to get people over here, educate them on plant-based nutrition and really inspire them to go home and be the healthiest version of themselves that they can be. I mean, what other lifestyle can you say prevents and reverses disease? There's not one other diet in the world that you can say that and you're saving animals and the planet. It doesn't get better than that. I see John over here, he's trying to oh, like yes. work technical, my uh, technical camera holder, but camera stand, man. I don't like it. I think this is gonna be it. I think this is gonna be the end because I don't know what else to say. Okay. This is nice, I like this. We ended up, I ended up making the lentil. I ended up making the lentils today to serve, but because of the, because of the people that were here today, I really wanted to introduce the smoothies again and talk about the hypernutrient smoothies that I learned from Dr. Brooke Goldner. Really cool day. Really cool people that I got to meet today. That I got to meet today, and if you're watching this, I'm really excited for you guys. It's the greatest thing. Thank every, thank everybody. I'm telling myself to thank everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming back, checking out my videos, seeing my hectic, hectic, crazy lifestyle and what I'm doing. I'm just trying to put a vlog out there and tell people my story. Whoa, that I don't know what I'm doing with this YouTube stuff, but I'm trying to say. Do it. Do it, eat your veggies. Eat the plants. Eat the plants, get healthy, feel good. Plant power. We were like, we were. I was like, couch, I was on the couch. I was. We were couch potatoes. I, I was, yeah, and, but that was just how it went. I mean, it was. And then we went, once we started eating the plants, we started feeling better. We started getting so much energy and, and we wanted to tell more people about the plants. Then more people wanted to know about the plants and how come we look like we're not our age? Well, I, yeah, well, I guess the main thing was just started eating the plants and just automatically got healthier proud and of that. lost weight and got all this energy just by changing my diet. That was it. I mean, it was, it's just amazing. More food, Plant more flavors, power. more cuisines. Delicious. More deliciousness. New recipes. That's gonna be a wrap, I think. I, I just can't, I mean, I would bore you guys to death if I, I talked all day long going about. Good. They did, they went really good. <laughs> I want everybody to think, think about eating healthy, being healthy, mm -hmm. being the good that's out there. I'm gonna wrap it up, tell everybody thank you for coming by, leaving comments, check out, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to over there. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the comments, all yeah. the great advice I've been getting because people kind of know that I'm new at this and go, go eat your plants. Have a great Saturday night. Peace and I'm out. <laughs>